These are the essential Xbox Series S items which will improve your time with the console. After using it for a few months, I noticed that there were quite a few problems with the console, such as my controller turning off when watching movies or not being able to fit the console carefully into a bug when taking it to another place. Then I thought, I'll buy a few things to fix this. And that's exactly what I did. I went onto Jeff's glorious website and searched for the items that would help me, and help me they did indeed. So now let's get into the video and cover these amazing items. The first item I have is the PDP Media Remote. Essentially it's a device that you use to control all of the main functions of the console. You're able to browse through apps, pause games, quit games, press forward and play on any videos. Pretty much anything a controller can do apart from actually playing a game. A common situation that I'm always in is that I'm watching a show whilst in bed and my controller either turns off, loses battery and or ends up dying on me. This remote can easily solve this since you can control your whole Xbox and not worry about the controller and it can stay disconnected. Connected. Yeah, you could get rechargeable batteries, but you'd still waste your controller battery making it last a shorter amount of time in comparison to just buying this remote. It's really easy to use, all you do is pop in some medium sized batteries and aim it towards your Xbox and it will be fully functional. It was a great investment for me and it kind of makes your average TV and console setup feel like a smart TV when you want it to. Overall a great purchase and I highly recommend it. When we bought this console, one of the main reasons was that it was pretty small. It's tiny and can fit anywhere, which to our logic meant that it can also be taken anywhere easily at the same time. However, when we tried packing the console in our normal backpacks, there was a high risk of it breaking if we ever dropped the bug. This bug completely fixes this and provides a hard suitable case which will protect your Series S. Not only that, but the case's interior is secure and ensures that your controllers, cable and console itself won't receive any scratches being fit into one small bug. It's easy to carry around and aesthetically looks like a normal briefcase type bug. 100% something you should consider buying if you ever want to take your Series S to your friend's house or even abroad while travelling. The next thing we have is a simple but extremely useful USB dock which actually doesn't look too bad. For those of you who have seen my previous videos, I do have a dock where it is a long wire poking out which I'm not really fond of. This USB unit easily fits into the console and attaches itself securely whilst also managing to look good aesthetically. The final item we have is a 1TB storage unit. I know there's going to be some of you in the comments saying that you can't play next gen games which is true however this thing can still be used to store all the games as well as a place for all of your recorded footage. It's a great investment for YouTubers or if you generally want to take the clips and store them however if you still do want to play next gen games then I suggest you buy the 1TB series S which only costs $50 more and has a ton of storage. I'm going to be linking all of the items in the description for anyone who wants to buy anything it will be down there that's going to be it for today's video if you guys enjoyed make sure to drop a like and subscribe we are so close to 300 subscribers so if we can hit that it would be it would basically just make my month and the recent support on my videos has been overwhelming so thank you all for that i'll see you all in the next one peace